unprecedented year going from these in-person annual meetings to completely virtual, which all of us had to become accustomed to in one way or another. And so, as you probably know, the CMSC organization at its grassroots is really the preeminent organization for multidisciplinary care within multiple sclerosis. And now it's starting to branch out a little bit for related disorders. And so the focus really has centered around that. So we didn't really lose touch of that going from in-person to virtual. And um, even though the number of presentations and maybe the content was not as uh, expansive, but the topics that were presented still fell within that spectrum of multidisciplinary care. And for those that attended or for those that are actually going to look at the video presentations after the fact, they'll notice that really across the board from you know, emerging therapies in multiple sclerosis, touching a little bit on emerging therapies in neuromyelis optica, um, getting people up to date for complementary therapies, you know, what's new with cannabis, what's happening in the mental health world, what's happening in rehabilitation. So really a wide spectrum that um, we put forward. And uh, again, it's very similar to our in-person meetings, just truncated a little bit. And you know, I think there was a lot of focus early on with these, what we call disease modifying therapies. How are these disease modifying therapies impacting uh, people with MS favorably, you know, can we cut back relapses? Can we cut back new spots on MRI, which we hope down the road will impact disability progression. But what we're finding out and what was presented at this year's CMSC is how are non-pharmacological interventions actually impacting the disease favorably? Whether it's aerobic, you know, fitness exercise, what is that doing for an individual? What about healthy lifestyle choices? How is that impacting people beyond just, you know, getting more fit and feeling better, but actually the disease itself and the impact on the immune system. And so I think we're learning this, not just in MS, but other autoimmune conditions that you really have to take this holistic approach in treating an individual. And I think we're going to continue to learn more and more as more studies are done. And so, uh, you know, in our, our annual meeting, this year, there was sort of a peppering of many of those topics. Um, and I encourage people to take a look because I certainly learned a lot uh, watching some of these presentations.